Hey everyone, Scott here from Classic Elite, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad uh, X1 Wireless Touch Mouse. And this is a pretty cool mouse. Uh, I will mention though that it's not something I'd recommend for everyone. However, if you're a heavy laptop user that travels frequently and also is responsible for a fair amount of presentations, this might be an excellent mouse for you to uh, check out. So as far as the notable things, it's quite small. Uh, if you look, it fits in my hand very easily and I have pretty small hands. Uh, so that was something that, that definitely caught me off guard and it took me a while to get used to. Uh, when it comes to the design, since it is so small and also if you look, it's, it's very, very thin. Uh, what this meant for me is I really needed to grip this differently than I would a normal mouse. If you're somebody that will utilize the claw grip, I think that this could work well for you. Uh, for me, I usually have a bit of a lazy or a, a flat grip on the mouse. So because I put a tall mouse in the palm of my hand, it was a bit of an adjustment. But what I found worked well for me is to lay my hand flat on the mouse and use this knuckle right here to, to kind of guide what I would like to do. So another thing with the design, even though it's very thin, they were really smart with how they uh, hid the certain functions that you need, such as a micro USB for charging, uh, also the functionality to turn on and off Bluetooth or use a, uh, a dongle. And one of the nice things is this dongle that is uh, hidden in the, the base of the mouse is actually magnetized. So getting the dongle to slip into the uh, appropriate slot is really, really easy. And it's a nice touch that I, I don't know, I, I guess I really wasn't expecting and I haven't seen that before. Uh, I, I've seen other mice that have maybe a spring-loaded mechanism or a snapping mechanism. And for some reason, I, I really like this magnetic approach. Now, this mouse does have both Bluetooth and wireless capabilities with, with a wireless dongle. So if your laptop has Bluetooth built into it, you're going to be in good shape with this. Uh, when I was using it on Windows 10, I didn't notice a difference between using it via Bluetooth or using it with the wireless dongle. I did, however, notice a difference in Chrome OS. So if you're looking for a Bluetooth mouse specifically for Chrome OS, I would not recommend this mouse. It was a little jittery and not very accurate. Uh, however, the fidelity of accuracy was good enough on the Windows side of things. When it comes to web browsing, presentations, maybe some light photo editing, uh, this certainly isn't going to give you the precision that maybe a gaming mouse would or a high-end productivity mouse for maybe an artist or an animator. However, again, for browsing, presentations, uh, a mouse on the go, this worked just fine. When it comes to, when it comes to, I've been happy so far. I didn't feel like I was getting warnings that the battery was running dead. Uh, but when I did finally let the battery die all the way, uh, I did want to mention that I was able to get a around a 50% charge, I think, uh, after about 15 minutes of charging, which I thought was quite good. And after the 50% threshold, the battery started taking longer to fill up. Uh, after about 30 minutes of charging from dead, it was about 75% filled and it took about an hour to get everything back to 100%. Uh, however, since the battery life is pretty good, I think that that's a reasonable amount of charging time. Speaking, speaking uh, there is a great little LED system that lets you know approximately how much battery is left to go before things are charged. Similar to a battery bank, um, there are four LEDs which approximate whether it's 25, 50, 75% or 100% full. You can't see the LEDs when they're not charging which is a really nice touch and it's very subtle when things are charging. Uh, I will mention though that one of the big drawbacks is if the mouse is dead, you have to charge it before you can use it again because of the placement of the charging dock. Uh, it probably wouldn't have looked very nice if it was on the back end. However, I might have liked to see a charging port on maybe the back of the mouse so that I could use it if things did die on me. Some people, some people uh, I personally don't. However, I do think that the packaging for this mouse is quite nice. And the foam that was used to protect the mouse 
was very high quality. It was a nice dense foam. Uh, I would be shocked if this thing would arrive broken if the package didn't already look significantly damaged. So I thought that was pretty nice. It also comes with a 90 degree angle uh, USB port. So it should be a little easier to get things charged without it maybe laying awkwardly. But again, I might have liked to have seen a port on the back despite that being potentially a little ugly about this mouse is the fact that it's going to aid you if you have to do presentations. So what I'm going to do now is show you a little bit of screen capture of me using PowerPoint and Google Slides. Any mouse movement that you see in the window is me using the trackpad on the bottom of the mouse holding it in presentation mode. Also I should mention that you don't need to switch the mouse into any particular mode in order to use it during a presentation. Uh, you can move the mouse normally as you would flip it over, pick it up, and be able to use the buttons right away and control the mouse. Uh, there are no toggles or anything that you need to mess with, and I certainly think that's a nice touch. So I do for sending me this mouse for review. Um, I did not purchase it. It was sent to me directly from Lenovo. And if you're interested in purchasing this mouse, it's available at Lenovo.com in their shop right now for $59.99. I'm not sure if that price will fluctuate or if it will show up on Amazon for a lower price, but the MSRP appears to be $59.99. For watching this review. If you have any questions about the product, I will do my best to answer any comments left in the description here on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you've enjoyed my commentary, we have a podcast about video games available at ClassicLeap.com, and I'll have that linked in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon.